welcome to the Scholar Progenium. Today we've got another exciting bolt action battle report for you. We're playing the Germans versus the Russians and it's going to be sectors. So I'll be running the Germans today and uh, I've got an interesting list for you. I've gone a little bit crazy. There's nowhere proper vehicles in the list. I did have a Panther to start with, but then I just kept adding more veterans. And before you know it, uh, this is what I ended up with. Uh, so we'll have a look in a bit more detail. Starting off, I have a second Lieutenant with an assault rifle on his own. I wish I had a buddy, but um, just it didn't turn out that way, basically. Then I have five squads of veterans. <laughs> of various flavors here. So we'll have a little bit of a deep dive. Uh, I've got six veteran uh, grenadiers and they have two LMGs and the rest rifles. I have a squad of storm pioneers. They have seven men in there. They've got two Panzerfausts. They've got an LMG and they've got a flamethrower. I then have three more squads of eight veteran Grenadiers. Each squad comes with uh, five assault rifles. Uh, <laughs> JB's just stood behind me listening to this list. He doesn't actually, we haven't told each other our list yet. Yeah. Sounds a bit crazy, doesn't it? Uh, it's so, getting a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, sorry. Each eight man squad is five assault rifles, a Panzerfaust, and an LMG, and the rest rifles. So, um, yeah, we're bringing a lot of toys today. A lot of veteran boys with their toys. Um, I'll lead you on to the support teams now, and then I'll sort of tell you what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> what the hell was I thinking making this list? I've also got a regular Panzer Shrek team. I have a mot uh, motorcycle with sidecar with a medium machine gun. I have a medium mortar with a spotter. And then I also have uh, just a light howitzer, just why not? I uh, felt like using him. Now, the, basically, last night I was painting up uh, my Gurkhas. I've got hold of some Gurkhas. Uh, <laughs> we'll go more into that more later. But, yeah, so I've, I was painting up my Gurkhas. I was listening to some Mark Felton. I was listening to all kinds of stories about the uh, the Germans, like the uh, pockets of resistance in Stalingrad uh, and the final resistance in Berlin and just all kinds of bits and bobs about the war in uh, Europe and the Eastern Front. And uh, I just... Had a hankering to run loads of uh, veterans with assault rifles and stuff like that. So no tank today. Um, these guys are going to have to do it on their own. But with their five Panzerfausts and a Panzer Shrek, I think hopefully they'll be able to deal with any armour that they come across. So we'll get to the Russians, the Soviets now. So here we have the Russian horde. It's quite a list. JP's <laughs> laid out in front of me here. Uh, do you want to take us through in a bit more detail, JP? Yeah, so it's a 13 dice. It's all Siberians. So we'll start with the easy one. We have leading the army. It's a junior lieutenant, a regular, just with one extra bodyguard there to keep him safe. Then back in the officer up, we have the commissar. So just a cheap 15 point commissar just to is he inexperienced? He's just the cheapest one I can find. <laughs> um, just to back up the free squad of 12 rifles. Then moving on to the regular slots, I have two identical squads of Siberians. They're all tough fighter. The regulars? They have, yeah, they are regular, but have an LMG each and a sergeant have an SMG. Okay. Then the veterans of the army, all the veterans have SMGs and there is one LMG, so that's a nine-man veteran squad. And then a five-man veteran squad just with SMGs in the brain carrier. Brain carrier's got the extra LMG. It has, yes. Mm -hmm. And then the heavy support slots. Um, we have an armoured car. This time we're going to use the recce rule of the M3 with the heavy machine gun. Okay, just try them out. Yeah, we've got the Katusha for a bit of fun. <laughs> I'm not happy to see that on the table with my veteran <laughs> infantry list. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so we then have the Ziz 3 for a bit of anti-tank and some like how it's of need be. Yeah, nice, no, always good to yeah. include. I've gone back with the medium mortar as always with the spotter. Did you try out an experience? Stuff? I did try it. Well, we were going to try it out and then I realised that you can't take the spotter with it. Yeah, and so you're just not sold on that. Finally, back with the veteran sniper team for the Siberians. Nice. The Russians. <laughs> I love the guy with the little dummy. 
Right, wow, well, okay. 13 dice. And a thousand points? No, no knees. No, no, no. I'm a thousand on the nose and ten dice. Okay, so we are playing sectors, so we'll get uh, some units deployed and we'll be back. So here we have the field of battle after deployment. Now, JP had the choice of sides and he went with this corner over here. Now, the map that we've gone with today, we're kind of feeling like it's a little bit of a town with a little bit of sort of common ground, a park in between these two sort of clusters of ruined houses here, maybe in better times, more peaceful times. The locals would have walked their do dogs through the uh, the forest between the uh, buildings. But uh, now the Russians and the Germans are going to fight tooth and nail on the Eastern Front for victory. Now, with sectors, the way it works is for every unit, for every unit that you kill of the enemies, for every dice you claim, you get a victory point. For every unit of yours that ends within one of the neutral table quarters, you get one point at the end of the game. And for every unit of yours that ends within the opponent table quarter, you get three points at the end of the game. Now, JP is out dicing me with the Soviets. He's got 13 to 10, so he's got a lot of scoring potential here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get some scalps early to sort of even the odds and uh, obviously get a handle on the initiative advantage there with uh, his advantage of dice in the bag. Now we'll go into deployment in a bit more detail. The Russians have their Katushka just on this road where it's ready to whiz up and start laying shots, heavy artillery into the German defenses. And um, they also have their inexperienced squad with the Commissar just sat as a sort of reserve unit or ready to dash into this neutral table quarter here. He's also got um, his officer down here and he's backing up um, a couple of squads. He's got uh, a couple of regular squads with their LMGs and rifles. Oh, which one's your veteran squad? This is your veterans veteran in the middle. The ah, so he's backing up a veteran squad and then he's got uh, a little bit of a defensive unit here, just overlooking, uh, shooting down into my units if I take this neutral quarter and across at my units into the park. Uh, he's also got another regular unit just holding the left flank here and a mortar just overlooking the park and straight into the German defences. Now, I have, I, you know, <laughs> long story short, deploying against a Katushka or, or any multiple rocket launcher is always a little bit tricky. It makes you uh, um and ah. But I decided uh, to cluster my units in sort of uh, blobs where he couldn't target, hopefully, more than two men at a time. I kept three units off the bike, the officer and the Panzer uh, Shrek team because I was afraid of them getting Shrek bombarded. So I've got all my infantry just in a wave here. I've got two squads here. This is the um, assault engineers. That's it, the assault engineers with the flamethrower and LMG. They're ready to advance into this neutral table quarter. I've got um, a squad of veteran grenadiers uh, more central and then a bit of a gap which i guesstimate to be over six inches and then i've got my double lmg veterans here ready to dash into this area and to defend my neutral table quarter similarly to how jp's set up over here uh, with another veteran eight-man grenadier squad in the center ready to push forward i've also uh, snuck these guys back i was tempted to have them together but i thought if jp gets lucky on a burst and just shreds like two, three units of veterans, then I'm really in trouble. So these guys are hanging further back. It's a seven, six to seven turn game. Uh, they can act defensively, preventing JP from easily getting into the neutral table quarter next to me on my flank and uh, push up as needed. They've got every squad has an LMG, so they can offer long range fire support to each other uh, or get close and get gritty with those five assault rifles that they all have. And not the not the uh, the engineers though they've got a flamethrower instead. Now uh, in the middle of this, just hanging back a little bit, I've got my mortar snuck away here. My uh, spotter can see most of the board, and then I've just got my light turret, so just looking down here at JP's deployment zone and uh, at the uh, entrance to the park on this side of the road. 
uh, because you've got quite a lot of units clustered around there and obviously as Katushka can drive forward and uh, shoot from there. Now in between the two castles, we have uh, the woodland. Now if you see three trees together, such as this bit here uh, in more of the center, or these three here more over on one table edge, then they are obscuring and rough ground. So uh, you can only move up to six inches through them, you can only advance through them. Wheeled vehicles can't go on them and you can't see through them. So there's a bit of line of sight blocking, uh, cutting some angles between the two castles. Uh, I imagine it's going to be a pretty bloody fight, don't you? Uh, I think so. We're both it's going to be a bloodbath with the Katusha hitting early or it's going to miss, do nothing, and you're just going to overwhelm me with all your assault rifles. Maybe, maybe. I mean, we've both got to push into each other. So you have um, a veteran squad and an armoured car off the board, and you can have come on anywhere on your table edge. And I have, yeah, just another MG wielding my equivalent of an armoured car. I've got my motorbike, my officer, and my rocket launcher. So neither of us is really going for the uh, push with reserves into the neutral table course. It's going to be a good... Honest battle, a firefight, and an assault uh, between our two positions. Really, really cool across no man's land. I'm very, very excited for this game. Um, so let's get some dice in the bag and get now, to it. Guys, just before we pull dice out of the bag, I just wanted to mention that recently we've uh, added memberships. So you can support the channel if you want to. We're not going to put any content behind a paywall. Uh, we simply want to give you guys the opportunity to help us put out you know, more and higher quality content and just improve the channel as we go. And a little bit of support would be really appreciated, although by no means do we expect it from you guys. Just the fact that you choose to spend your time with us in itself, you know, we're very, very grateful for. But I just wanted to give you that offer in case you wanted to give us a helping hand. So yeah, let's get to the first okay, dice. So with the lines prepared, let's see if both of us get a prep bombardment. Um, I get a six, so I will be getting a prep bombardment. And the Russians. Russia. Yes. Oh, just, just about. So we'll be back with that in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna roll my prep bombardment first. <laughs> There's a lot of Russian units here. Hopefully I can get a six or two. Um, I'm gonna start with the Katushka. No, don't, just, yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah, get out of the way. Huh? Oh, is it two? Go. One pin. I will take that. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll go with your Commissar next. It's gonna be two pins. Your inexperienced squad. One pin. Uh, your sniper team. One pin. Your officer. Nothing. He's a loyal Spider. communist. Uh, we've got the regular LMG team. Two pins. Two pins. We've got your veteran SMG squad, nine men. Nothing. Oh, that's, that's clutch. Nice, You're having a great time. Mortar. Oh, nothing. Better. Regular squad. Nothing. And the Ziz. I forgot the Ziz. Oh, the Ziz. Come on, I'm gonna switch dice, you know. Switch for the Ziz. It was nothing on that one and one on the mortar, was it? Um, we'll check in a sec. Two, Two pins. Ones. So no hits there? No hits. Okay, and a couple with nothing, mainly ones. We'll be back with the uh, Russian bombardment of the Okay, Germans. so Russian artillery bombarding the German castle. Uh, do you wanna start off with the Pioneers? Yep. Nothing. Let's go. One, One pin. pin. Oh, very tense right now. Squad in the middle. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Other squad. Oh, it's a hit. It's a hit, it's a hit on the yeah. LMG squad. So that kills one, I think. Yeah, uh, well, you just got to roll on a two up, yeah. No. No, yes. <laughs> so they take two pins. Okay. This is oh, you never know, you never know. Uh, the reserve squad, essentially. Uh, they take two. Okay, what's next? Uh, then we'll go to the medium howitzer. No. It's one pin, and the mortar. It's oh, a hit! It okay. okay. So, roll them for the mortar. Two pins and a kill. So they're down to a two-man team with two pins. 
Okay, um, I think that's everything on the board for the gym. It's not too bad at all. Um, we're all dug in, um, but it's time to get our assault. Nice is Russian. He's going to try and give his sniper a fire order. We've measured it up. He is within 36 of the pioneers. He's going to try and shoot that flamethrower out early. Yeah, uh, Nisa, is he a veteran? He's veteran, so but the officer is within. Okay, so just a 10. He, he makes it. Okay, so. Three to hit. Three to hit. Oh, yes! I missed. The Germans have had the next dice and have advanced forward the, with this unpinned veteran squad. They're going to shoot across here, they're about 20 inches away uh, into these regulars here. They've already got a pin on, so maybe we can add another. It's going to be uh, six shots, one rifle and an LMG, and it's going to be hitting on sixes. On sixes. And it's one hit, we've got that pin, and then four to kill, which we do not get. I passed an order check with these veteran squad next, and I've advanced up here and put in shots on it. will be 14 shots on sixes combined from assault rifles, a rifle, and an LMG. However, uh, JP's decided to go down, so it's going to be sixes followed by sixes. Okay, sixes followed by sixes here. Uh, we've got a couple of potentials. Three, see if we can get another six. Come on now. And uh, no, never mind. He has gone down. Locked up by the park entrance. He's popping a shot over at the art artillery piece over there. And needing a six. Oh, no. I'm going to pass an order check with my mortar on a seven. I'm going to go for counter battery fire on JP's mortar. Seven on two pins. We do it. Now needing a six. Come on now. No, oh, oh, close. Oh. I'm going to pass another order check and popping off all my artillery here. This time it's going to be the light howitzer. My choice is to try and uh, double team essentially his mortar or go for a shot um, on his regulars there. I'm hitting on a five. It's a difficult decision. I've got to pass an order check first, so I'll try and do that. Needing an eight. Uh, we do just about pass it. Okay, uh, big decision here. I'm going to try and do a over, I'm going to try and shoot the regular, so you're going to go down? Yes. You are going to go down. Because I can just stay down next turn and it's, remove the pins anyway. Yeah, it means the dice is out of the bag for two turns though. Yeah, but it's a, they're already on two pins, so I was going so to either rally them or take a hit in the face. Okay, so six followed by six here it'll be. No. The Russians have the next dice, they're going for the Katushka, uh, he's going to try and launch it, uh, he's going for a normal fire order, he's going to launch over here, there's a couple of units he can see across the way, uh, needing an 8 here, there's no officer supporting, it's a yes, 9, sir. oh it's a 7, oh no, <laughs> I thought he'd fail it there, right, okay, we'll see how many he can hit. Some sixes. <laughs> he's got a couple of units within range, the veterans that are already advanced, and then this squad here, I'm not go I can't go down with these, I'm not going down with the other squad. So that is, uh, okay, it's going to be two sixes here. You know. <laughs> the vet does it make a difference which way I roll them? No, not just no, no. roll them together. Well, no, did say which one's which. Oh, right, okay, sorry. Yeah, veterans? No. no. Other guys? No, no. okay. Right, that's one turn out of the way. <laughs> Only potentially six more to go. We've had a couple of dice here and there. These guys have gone down. These guys have run forward towards the German uh, Russian lines. Uh, and now JP's just passed an order check. It took him some encouragement from the Commissar. So uh, he has had to execute somebody. He's on 11 men now. Um, so he's advanced. He's shooting towards these veterans. can be hard cover. Um, and moved. Oh, you see what they are first, of course, because they've taken the casualty. Yeah. Uh, they've been shot in the back, so they need to know whether they're going to run or whether they're tough enough. See how encouraged they are. Get a one here for me. And uh, nothing, they're just regular old inexperienced guys. Uh, okay, so I think it's going to be sixes followed by sixes there. You've moved, they're inexperienced, it's hard cover. Kind of size there, that was just... Oh, that increases it. Uh, you yeah. probably over half range though as well. Six, so, six, uh, yeah. We'll have a look. Some magic sixes. Sixes on my system. Yeah. Um, nothing. nothing. They okay. are very scared. Okay. <laughs> German dice. I've uh, just activated these guys. I've got three off the board. I've not messed around with any early down tactics messing around. Uh, they've advanced. I uh, The only thing I could really see was his spotter. I tried sixes followed by sixes. 
obviously nothing happened. Um, so yeah, now it's just down to JB. He's got three units off. He's got two dice he can activate. It's these uh, regulars with an LMG here on two pins overlooking the park. And this is this, which has a really nice firing line. But uh, I think a few of my units might be blocked. So I'm actually going to play it safe here. Uh, they're being cagey and uh, probably doing the sensible choice. They're going to try and rally both units there. Just get ready with a massive castle to take on the German assault. So, okay, so does this first? Uh, oh, Fubars. Fubars. Uh, okay, so uh, roll to see what happens. And uh, that is probably a runaway. Okay, and then we'll do the infantry squad. And do so pass. Yeah. And then we'll clear all their yeah. pins. So we just this is just going to <laughs> run backwards probably uh, nine inches to the board edge. Okay, so that's it, the end of turn one. The Germans have advanced and cleared the majority of their pins. Uh, a couple of unit, well, one unit failing to pass their order check, and a couple still carrying one. We gambled on passing order checks instead of rallying. Uh, the Russians went for some rallies. Uh, they were more sensible, but still foobarred with the Ziz, as we saw. The Katushka missed, but all in all, they've got a really nice, safe castle of infantry, mainly in hard cover. Facing off as the Germans advance with their veterans, including a flamethrower, through the park. And the Germans just reinforcing their flank, the neutral quarter, against any uh, Russian or Soviet, rather, um, reinforcements coming on the flank. So, uh, we'll be back with turn two. So let's get the first dice of turn two, and they're putting this squad on ambush. Looking down on the pioneer. Dice is German. I'm going for another mortar shot, see if I can get a five on his mortar before he activates it. I've got to pass an order check first. Oh, you know what? I should have activated my uh, officer. Wow. It's okay then. Right, okay. So, uh, needing a five now. Come on, lad. No. <laughs> the Russians have the next dice, and likewise, they're popping their mortar. Going for a five on my light artillery. Come on, lad. Yes! Oh, no! Okay, so it's going to be three hits on the crew. They're just regulars. Gun shield's not going to help them. Come on. Win the artillery shield, yeah. Uh, you've uh, killed, killed two, two of them. So it's down to one man. D3 pins. Indeed. And it's just one more. pin. There's no officer nearby. I should have brought him on. Uh, it's okay on a seven. It's a real back and forth second turn here. I've got another order dice for the Germans. I'm gonna try and pass a check. It's only one pin on the hoe to see if I can do it. Just make it on a seven. Okay, uh, he's going to go for a drop shot on the mortar. We're gonna go two on one here. See if we get a lucky six. Uh, is this a waste? We'll find out. No, it is a waste. We've advanced over the wall with this squad, just putting down their own covering fire. I'm firing at these veterans because JP uh, decided to stay down uh, with his regular squad in the soft cover uh, last turn, just to try and clear the pins off them. Now, um, it's going to be five LMG shots and eight assault rifle shots hitting on sixes. So that's 13. And then it's going to be two rifles on sixes followed by sixes. Mm -hmm. I'll do those first. Uh, nope. And then 13 on six. Yeah. Assault rifle is out of range here. The rest are hit on sixes. Uh, we've got a couple of hits. I'm firing the LMG at the same time because he's uh, within half range but moved and half cover. And it is one kill on those veterans there. Uh, and no specialists. Let's there. have the next dice. They're going to try and target um, this unactivated veteran squad over here, the Grenadiers, uh, with their sniper. Need to pass, oh no, no order check. No order check. All good to go. Just, Just needing a three. three. Oh, no, two again. Oh, excellent. <laughs> JP is attempting to bring on his Bren carrier full of SMG vets and he does it. The yeah. carrier has just run on the side of this wall in the neutral quarter. He's going to put some shots into the German Grenadiers who've just fired. Uh, it's going to be eight shots, uh, moved soft cover. Okay, so looking for fives here. Uh, he's got several. Oh, that's a really nice roll. Four. And then needing fives again. Uh, okay. 
has managed to get a kill. Can he get a specialist here? Oh, we he can. can. There's a lot in there. You've got five assault rifles, uh, a Faust, and an LMG. I think I'll take the Faust. <laughs> yeah, I think I would if I were you. Oh, that'd be a nice counter next turn. Okay, Faust dead. Another German dice. I am loving the amount of shots these guys can sling out. I'm staying still and just spraying from my soft cover into the veteran. Hard cover, the uh, veterans anchoring the center of the Russian lines. I've already put one pin and a casualty on them. Uh, He's decided to stay up this time, so I am going to be hitting him on fives with the LMG and sixes with everything else. Nine shots on sixes. Uh, it's, it's a good couple of hits. Three hits there. Uh, needing fives here. Uh, and we've got two kills. I'm happy with that. And then we've got five shots from the LMG. These, this guy needs five to hit. And he gets one. And then can we get another kill? It's only one dice. And no, we cannot, but I'm happy with two casualties. They are racking up and it's another pin on those veterans. He's giving an advance order to the veterans. It's a five man SMG squad, but they can get nice and close to my veterans here before I start putting pins on that open topped transport. Okay, so he's all within point blank there. He's decided to uh, not go for the soft cover on that side, um, but keep the hard cover against this, uh, my reinforcement on that flank. So I think it's a good decision. And um, 10 shots on three. Oh, so oh, it's a great all burst, them. all of them. Uh -oh, I could be about to get rinsed a little bit. You need five, five so. Well. This always comes bad. But it's it's 10 it's shots, man. <laughs> oh, I should rinse them a little bit. Um, oh, okay. one, yes, no. I will certainly take that. Sacrificial rifleman, I'm sorry, but you've got to go. <laughs> These guys are loaded to bay, even the sacrificial rifle, uh, he's already dead and he had a panzer fast on him anyway. Uh, so it is an assault rifle dead there, decided to keep the loader uh, for my LMG. Going for a run order on the Ziz, he's got two pins but they need to get him back in position. Can't waste time rallying over here. He does do it. I'm going for an advance order on my veterans that are holding my flank. Now he's got his on. I'm going to take a, some shots in. He's behind hard cover, but first of all, we've got to pass an order check. Anyway, okay, so I'm needing a nine here. Yes, whoa, I was panicking for a second. Uh, we'll move the models and see what I'm saying. I'm loving this assault rifle spam. Uh, these guys, uh, everyone's just lined along the edge of this building, shooting out the side at the SMGs. Uh, it's sixes for everyone because of not caring about moving and shooting. It's like having Americans here. Um, it's been a while since I've used assault rifles. And uh, so really enjoying having them back. Um, it's 15 shots in on sixes. Because uh, the LMGs are within half range but moved hard cover. And they're two on sixes followed by sixes from two rifles there. Uh, so no on those and then I'll pick up 15 dice. 15 something back. dice on sixes. Oh, I think I dropped one over here. Um, so that's only one hit, but I think I need an extra dice. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Nope. One hit on a five for a kill. And no, but it is a pin on those guys. Quite a lot of uh, lead flying now. Another check on my LMG Grenadier squad. Uh, I'm needing an eight. And then they'll be, I'm just going for a fire order, so they'll be hitting on sixes with those two LMGs. We um, do pass it. So it's going to be a pin and hard cover for sixes to hit. Two shots. Uh, we get a couple. Just stacking those pins on here. And um, no oh, kill still. A couple of dice I failed to come on with my... Panzer Shrek team, JP's failed to go down with, uh, failed to advance with the oh, Commissar. Uh, he's now going to go for an advance and fire order with his inexperienced squad. Um, so, have you any pins on yet? No, no pins on them. Cool. Just need to, move Just need to rack them up. Okay. okay, so he's advanced into this forest. He's wary of my bike coming on and uh, shooting him in the flank if he gets up against this wall. So it's going to be uh, sixes followed by sixes here with 11 shots. Oh, he's got some so real potential three. there. Looking for a pin on this flame for him. And no, nothing unfortunately. But nicely wedged in that cover 
holding that neutral tablecloth. Support of the officer who's just advanced in between all these squads, keeping them all uh, motivated for the Communist Party. Uh, he's going to try and give a fire order to the veterans, see if he can spur out some MNG SMGs at the encroaching um, Germans. So, two pins, veteran, officer. So, um, nine. Get he makes it. it. Oh, the LMG in range. I didn't realise they had an LMG, so my mistake. So it's going to be fives because it's soft cover and a pin, but they're within half range. And it's oh, three sixes three there. Six. Very nice. Could have done with them a minute ago. Save them for the Gatushka man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's got a hit. So that kills one, is it? Oh, that's a kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, and no exceptional though. But that's about nice. baiting the ambush over here. Uh, and drilling these guys, uh, these inexperienced, but actually, I feel like he will actually get killed by a rifle and LMG ambush. So he's going here, uh, he's shooting through some soft cover, but you can't see them. Uh, so it's over half range as well by hair. And of course he's moved, so six shots on sixes, and nothing after all of that. He's gone with the Katushka, it's the final Russian dice, everything else is activated. He's just advanced and done a little bit of a wiggle, so he can shoot over onto this squad, here, uh, they've not taken any uh, pins or anything yet, and they've been uh, harassing the veterans. Uh, also, it's the only place where I have more than one unit together, so there's two, you could potentially hit the bike as well, so it's two dice rolls. No order checks do so. No order check. He's so, first. Um, bike. Yes, oh. here's the bike. And the squad. No. no. Okay, yeah. so he's got a hit on the Katushka and unfortunately can't quite hit any of those veterans, clip them with the template. And he's a two to uh, pen the bike here. Uh, and he gets it, so then he just rolls two on the dice. full damage chart. No, just, uh, mm, yeah, probably two dice there. Um, yeah, two dice, hit the highest. And yes, he has uh, and knocked that bike out with the Katushka. So it's always nice to get a kill with the Katushka. And it's uh, one less dice for me. Dice, I'm advancing my pioneers up along the wall here. Uh, JP's giving them the beans with an ambush. Uh, it's going to be um, six dice hitting on fives, and then I think four on sixes, was it? Over half range hardcover. All the way around. Four on fives. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So four on fives from the LNG. You get to hit. Okay. And then on sixes. Another hit. I'm counting tens here. <laughs> Don't wait to get that out of the six. He gets a kill. Can he kill the flamethrower? No, no, he can't. I was feeling that then. At the end of turn two, it's a very interesting layout. The Germans are spread out with their pockets of resistance, each one able to defend itself. However, this one uh, has taken a real beating, uh, the one that's closest to the Russian forces with three pins and uh, three casualties there. Uh, the Russians have been forced to use their reserves to uh, counterattack against the German push. Uh, a disappointing amount of casualties there, but then they have weathered a storm of return fire, taking only two pins and no casualties. Uh, in the end, my pioneers, I should have just run them, the advance, uh, because of the pin on them, meant that I uh, I was on hitting on sixes followed by sixes, so I didn't do any damage there, although I am uh, getting very close, uh, potential flamethrower range, uh, if I can get the first dice next turn, although that is unlikely. Uh, the Soviets have managed to kill one of the Germans, taking uh, the Germans down to nine, and um, the Soviets are still on 13 dice mm -hmm. going into turn three. Um, so it's been a, a steady start firing uh, between the castles, but now I think things are about to get uh, very bloody, bloody indeed. indeed. <laughs> Dice of turn three, and JP put this rifle squad with the LMG looking down on the pioneers on ambush. I've now got a dice, uh, which is nice, and I'm going for a mortar. Now I need to pass an order check um, on an eight. Well, fail this. If I do, I can roll it out on a four up. Come on. Yes, we pass just. All right, okay. <sighs> Needing a four here. Need some dice off you. Huh? Yes! No, no, yes, 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 yes. Oh, I gambled here. I could have gone with the artillery before he shot back. Uh, you're hitting me on a two. Uh, I went for the mortar because it was more likely to hit. Um, but now. 
Yeah, he's gonna do a return shot on my light howitzer. Come on. Could take me down to eight dice here. Come on, Mother Russia. Don't oh, I thought he was gonna get one, but no. Uh, so he needs a two to kill me. Come on. Yeah, nice. yes, that is the light howitzer dead, and another dice out of the that. The Russians next. They're activating the um, unpinned now. Uh, regular squad and they're firing with their LMG and rifles over here. I've been forced to go down I really don't want to but these guys have been hammered as it is So it's four shots on sixes and the rest on sixes followed by sixes Four and sixes There's two hits One sixes by sixes So there's one potential Okay, so it's two, two hits. Can you get a kill here? Fives. Yes, indeed and no, no kills, so it is a pin. The Germans have had a dice and they're shooting the veteran grenadiers into the veterans with the SMGs that are closing in over here. JP's decided to go down because it's about 15 or so shots. Um, so we'll be back with the dice. Six is followed by sixes here. Um, we've only got a couple of potentials. Can we get another six? Come on now. And no. Soviet sniper has readjusted his aim and he's going for this flamethrower. Third time the charm here. Um, <laughs> he might actually get a pin this time. <laughs> we'll find out. Anything to <laughs> No, of course not. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to have to go with the pioneers before they start eating pins. Um, it's going to be a nine. Needed to pass the orb check. Uh, yes, we do it. The Russian regular squad are giving the beans down onto these guys as they advance behind the garden wall. Okay, so hitting on sixes first, is it? Uh, fives first on sixes. So fives. It's one, one hit. So that's not good. It's the pin you need though. Here's the flame there. So it's just a one hit. Oh, no kills, but it's a pin. Okay, so thanks to that pin, it's going to be a six to hit with the flamethrower. Uh, six is to hit with the LMG. Um, but I've got three rifles. Um, <laughs> they're hitting on fives, thankfully. Okay, okay. rifles. Uh, one hit. I mean, I'm looking for kills here. <laughs> All right, I'm going to roll my flamethrower next. Needing that six. Come on, lad. Huh? No. Oh, I saw it. And then sixes for the LMG here. Come on. So it's one rifle hit on these guys. That's not what I was looking for. It is a kill though. I think I'm going to expect a charge in return. Hopefully I can survive. The teams have advanced their recce uh, armoured car on here with the HMG. And they've stayed at a comfortable over 18 inches away. They're willing to be over half range themselves to avoid uh, being within Panzer Faust range, which I think is a uh, you know relatively sensible. It's got a really solid castle as it is, and um, so three shots needing sixes. Yeah. Come on, no, no wow. hits. Now that this is is back in position, he's still got one pin on him, but he's going to try and take a shot with an anti tank shell at my veterans over here, just to make sure that he's within half range there. So uh, he'll be hitting on a. Uh, Four for soft cover if you pass the other chest. I'm not foo bottom all the way again. It hey, does pass. pass. Okay. So. I'm not going down here. Come on. Bit of justice. No. No, that is justice. I failed it for. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad that didn't hit. Oh, gosh. Right, okay. Germans must so press on. Advance with the double LMG veteran squad. Uh, just to try and get one guy next to the wall, um, you know, an inch away from them. Uh, the rest uh, are going to be hit on sixes followed by sixes. And I'm just out of point blank with the LMG as well. So it's going to be sixes for him. Um, so not ideal because they are down, but I'll see what we can get. We need to start dealing with these veterans. Uh, nothing from the LMG, and then um, the other LMG and two rifles. Uh, there's one potential there. OK, 
Okay, so it's Katusha, time, turn three. Got a kill already, he hit the bike. Um, I've moved two squads close to each other, so he's got two shots here. Uh, which squad are you going for first, the down squad or? Uh, the one side of it, on the hill. Okay, hill squads? No. And the one that's that? No, okay. <laughs> made it to another turn with the veterans. Advanced this veteran squad that's unpinned uh, up so that they had the angle past the wall for soft cover uh, on JP's veterans with SMGs. He's decided to go down to make it sixes followed by sixes. Sixes followed by sixes here. Um, there's a couple of potentials. So we get, uh, yes, we do get a hit. I'm happy with that. Just even a little pin's always good. That puts them on two. Uh, can we get a five now? Uh, no, we cannot. The Soviet officer has decided to move up and support these guys shooting at the pioneers. Now it's gonna be sixes with everything. It's three shots from a SMG and a rifle. Uh, and it is two hits, very nice. Uh, looking for fives here. And no. Oh, but another pin on them. When they're struggling to kill each other's battery. It is advancing up. Just uh, sealing the Soviet lines. Uh, it's, you know, just really good spread across the diagonal of the board there. And he's going to put four shots into my unpinned um, veterans with uh, fives to hit, is it? Fives to hit. Okay. Nice. Uh, another two, two sixes. The rear barker's literally popped. Okay. Oh, three, three hits. hits. That's not what I need to see. Can he get a kill now? Uh, one kill is it a specialist. No, fortunately not. Okay, so it's a Russian uh, last dice for the Russians. Yeah, we've all done. Um, he's thought about standing still and shooting. He's thought about advancing into point blank and shooting. Uh, he's thought about advancing backwards uh, and shooting. So just like putting me on three pins. However, he's decided to do uh, what the Soviets do best. And he's uh, fixing bayonets, blowing the whistle, and charging. Uh, if he gets this, it's going to really put the Germans on the back foot here. Um, but and he will have, you know, really successfully pushed off most of my attack. Um, however, if he fails it, I mean, he'll probably still butcher a lot of them. So overall, um, you know, he's either blunting the squad or the killing it. The throw will still be alive. Um, Maybe, maybe. We'll so, see, we'll see. It's a good way first. to get a lot of effective kills on them. Order, order test, test first. Yeah, control V for nothing. No, they do pass. Yes. They're doing it. With bayonets fixed, the conscripts pour over that wall and hedge there. I've got six attacks. Um, I'm hitting on three, killing on threes. He's got ten, killing on fives. I'm on the right, German's on the right, and so Soviet's on the left. Right, fighting simultaneously. Let's do this. Oh, oh, I've got five beautiful. kills. It's beautiful for the Soviets. One, two, three, four, five. And you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You've wiped the squad out. Don't even need to uh, throw down. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, at least we've killed five. So it's down to five inexperienced. Uh, but yeah, that is one of the German veteran squads wiped out now. It's the end of turn three, and the Russians are certainly doing well. Uh, although they are largely suppressed with a lot of their units, they have a really good presence uh, across this board, uh, with a few units scoring in neutral table quarters, and uh, you know really pressing on the German units here and out dicing them. They've got more points for kills because they've got, I believe, three kills now. Um, and you know, overall, although they've taken casualties. Uh, nothing has actually been wiped out, which is really not good on the German side of things. Uh, we failed once again to bring our Panzer Shrek team in, um, and so he is now uh, pushing from a safe distance on to my veteran squads with massed uh, firepower. Uh, the Germans, you know, they've got some tough units, they've got a really solid centre of three veteran squads here. Um, these guys do have four pins, but you know, still five men in the squad. And these are looking pretty solid and well armed. But uh, you know, overall, I feel like the Russians have a stronger presence on the board going into the later game, turn four. Uh, but it's all to play for. We'll find out what, how we can do this. Despite it being 13 dice to seven, the Germans do have the first 
dice of turn four, which is much appreciated. Now I want to try and get dice off him, uh, and I think I'm going to go for his mortar, because uh, I'll be hitting it on a three. Uh, he's going to go down. Yeah, down, okay. Just because I think you will hit it. Okay, fair enough. Come on now, please. Yes, we do get the hit. Okay, so it's only going to be two hits on the three-man squad. Uh, killing on twos and d3 points. Uh, so we only kill one, so it's not forcing a pin check. But we have zeroed in now, which is nice. Not what we were looking for, though. Two pins, oh, we will bad. take. Uh, no, you don't have. Okay, so that lucky burst of two dice was wasted. Uh, I'm probably not going to get a third now. He's got 13 dice in the bag to my five. And I feel bad with a veteran squad over here off camera to roll the uh, order check. Not ideal. We got a four to run backwards, uh, but yeah, that has pushed that pushed back the German assault by a couple of turns. Program the next dice. Their first dice of turn four. They're going for a charge or a run order, I suppose. Uh, this guy's just poking out behind uh, the wall or around the wall, and it's just about running that first guy base to base and not over rough ground. And then you're, you're in a twelve inch charge. No worries there. Uh, so he's fighting first as well. I'm not defending, technically. Okay. Uh, he needs to pass an order check on an eight. He does oh, pass it. Okay. It's going to be veteran on veteran combat, but my guys don't have tough fighter. This is my double LMG squad. Okay, so it's going to be five tough fighters versus six uh, normal veterans. I'll be on the right. JP will be rolling on the left. Um, oh, we're not fighting simultaneously. Because I was yeah, you're fighting first. Go to it. Come on, tough fighter. Need you. Mix this up, please. Yes, three. Not what we need to see here. Ah, oh, five. five. I've got one guy left. This is all oh. crumbling. Um, I do, do get a kill, one. but then it's a carrier is just repositioned slightly, and he's going for a burst of four shots on fives against the heavily pinned veteran grenadiers. Uh, he's a hit with pin. one, he's got a pin on them, and um, no kill. Okay, I've got a German dice. I'm actually going for a run order. A little bit of a Hail Mary, but we've got to do a big swing to get back in the game now. Um, I need to pass on a five. If I do, I'll be charging these guys uh, as they're stood against one. No point shooting them, I'm too heavily pinned. Um, okay, so... Need the five here. Come on, heroes of the fatherland. And no, oh, <laughs> there's a down order. At least they're safer from. Okay, so we couldn't quite get all the assault rifles into point blank range of these veterans here. However, we are going to go. Uh, it's a lot of shots still. There's 13 shots hitting on fives. It's two on fours, one on a six. I'll do the two fours first. We'll go up in order. Uh, we've got one hit so far. Um, then we'll go the fives. Oh, dropping dice. Excited. <laughs> Fives. Oh, we've got some other dice. Uh, that's a fair few hits there. And then we've got one on a six. Which we don't get. Okay. Killing on fives. Need a little bit of luck here. And it is just one, one kill after all that. Going for a shot from his tower into these guys here. It's going to be a um, three to hit. Uh, he does okay. get a hit. Day. First hit of the day. He's oh, got a kill. Uh, so you've got an LMG of four assault rifles there. Mm, the LMG. Okay, so taking them down to four assault rifles, and they are on six pins. Mm. And now pin freezes. He's going for an indirect shot on my veterans that are holding this uh, neutral table quarter here. So, need a six. No. no. Okay, we've had a few dice back and forth. Uh, the regular squad have advanced down somewhat uh, into this uh, garden area here. Fired across, couldn't get any pins. The inexperienced squad uh, advanced up a little bit, uh, also likewise couldn't get any pins. As we've seen, these guys are down, getting just strafed up, surrounded on all sides by Russians. 
um, and now he's going to advance into uh, a bit closer range to my base with his Katushka uh, because of this Fubar and because I've run my Panzer Shrek team up here where he starts shooting down from this bit of hard cover into his armoured uh, his uh, armored units. Uh, he's now going to fire here and he's got three chances to hit one on the mortar, one on the Panzer Shrek team and one on the veteran Fubaras, the traitors. <laughs> so, the mortar team first. One's two, one's six. No. Um, Panzer Shrek. No. Oh. And the one important one, the veterans. Oh, yes, that's what we needed. Okay, so it's the end of turn four, and that one was quite decisive for the Soviet forces. Uh, they've consolidated their hold and swung units around, as we saw, to somewhat envelop the remaining German forces who've been pushed back into their base, essentially. Uh, these guys remain pinned down. They're hard to kill off, but they're just not doing anything. Uh, and... I've got one squad of veterans uh, hidden away in this building. Uh, they're fresh and well armed and they can do a lot, but they're really struggling to help out their friends here and push back the overwhelming Soviet numbers. So I'm gonna struggle now to get uh, units into his deployment zone, his table quarter for three points. Uh, he may uh, be able to get one or two into mine maybe. Uh, it could be a resounding Soviet victory or I mean, with two essentially full and well-armed veteran squads, uh, despite the unlucky FUBAR, uh, now that the Soviets are pushing on us, could we push them back uh, to make it a stalemate down to the kill points and so on and so forth, a couple of neutral uh, units here and there. So it's all to play for, and uh, the Germans have had their push, now it's the Russian turn, we'll see what happens in turn five and six. The dice of turn five is Soviet, and he's going for a run order. He's got the space to wait a little bit, and as he's pushing on me, he could well do with me drawing a couple of dice before he makes his assault onto my uh, base. So, um, or castle, whatever you want to call it. So he's going with the mortar. If he can run him, pass an order check and run him away, uh, then it breaks me zeroing in on him with my mortar, essentially saving him. This could be a really tactical first yeah. dice here. Uh, it's important. And it does pass. Eight, nine, yeah. yeah. Okay, Russians with their big dice advantage. 13 to 6. How has it come to this? Uh, he's firing the Katushka now, whilst I'm still clubbed together before I can get these veterans out of the way. Uh, he's got three chances on sixes. Oh, gosh, this is very close. Veterans, come on. Come on, hold off. Yeah. Oh. Okay, okay. Shrek. Oh, oh, good. And the water. No! Excellent. That's exactly what we needed to see. <laughs> Woo! Okay. JP's got another dice. He's going to try and go for an advance order and uh, use these veterans that I can't get rid of uh, to finish off the veterans that he can't get rid of. Yeah, neither I. Oh, oh yeah, I was really... I need something here. I need a little <laughs> bit of luck. So, do you want to go down? Um, I think... No. No? Okay. I've got to do some crazy stuff here, and going down is not a part of that. That's way too conservative for what's going to get me out of this situation. <laughs> so, six SMGs, point blank, threes? Six shots, yeah, three SMGs. Um, oh, no, it's a poor roll. Okay, good, good. Need fives, come on. He's, He's killed one. one. They're all the same. <laughs> He's killed one. It is okay. a pin. It is a pin. <laughs> okay, so uh, desperate times call for desperate measures, one might say. Uh, I've got seven pins here. He's three away, and he's got certainly enough units to pull it off. I'm just pinning those guys out, just strafing them down until they surrender. So I've got no choice but to give them a run over. Go for the fatherland. For the fatherland. <laughs> we need a three here. We've got no support from officers. We're on our own. Come on, lads. Oh, it's oh. a resounding no. <laughs> Down they go. Soviets have the next dice. The sniper's going to try and get a hit over on the three-man veteran squad so he can just rack up those pins and drive them off, make them surrender. Uh, no, it's a oh. one. As we saw last dice of the Soviets uh, for the previous turn, he ran his veterans over here. Now they're going to shoot with the LMG 
over and my veterans uh, that FUBAR previously. So they need to pass on a 10? Passing on a 10 because of the officer nearby. Uh, they do yeah, do yeah. it. So, so they will lose move. their final pin. And then it would be four shots. Moved over half range. Soft cover. Yeah, sixes. sixes. One hit. And get <clears throat> No, no kills, but a nice pin. So we've advanced the regular squad uh, that starts off the game in this heavy cover, just out behind the bu bush now, so it's soft cover. He's shooting across into these veterans, looking for a third pin, so he can just really suppress my lines. Um, it's going to be sixes to hit with everything. Now oh, he's got a nice three. Needing fives. Oh, he has a couple of kills as well. Okay, good work. Another Russian dice. He's going for the Ziz. Again, indirect, just onto this ruin here, uh, trying to take out my veterans. It's a five this time, though. I haven't had the chance to move them yet. Well, it's well, a four, well. thankfully. With a roar, the Soviet regulars decide to charge into the remaining veterans over here. He needs them cleared out the way so they can bring his forces up towards my table quarter. Okay, Germans have three tough fighters. You've got eight normal and one tough to fighter. Yeah. I'll roll them all at the same time. The orange dice will be the tough fighter. fighter. Okay. Right, so uh, strike first. you strike first. I'm leaving five. And it does kill you. Yeah. Okay, that's that, they're dealt with. And now you can consolidate, do you want to do that now? Yeah, consolidate. Oh, cut. Five, Five inches. inches. <clears throat> That's very nice. Okay, we have a German dice, people. Now, I'm going for run order on these guys. They've got three pins, but it is a uh, five-man squad with four assault rifles. I need to pass an order check on a seven here. Okay. Come on, now. Um, we go down on a ten. Of course, of course. Okay, we're just heavily crumbling in the face of the Soviet advance now. So the Germans have a dice and we've decided to advance out of this building with our remaining uh, reliable veteran squad, they're unpinned. And they're gonna shoot past the veterans um, into these regulars, because they can't go down, neither squad can, but these guys die on fours and I need some kills. And we've got a ton of assault rifles within half range there. Um, and they're just in a bit of soft cover, but also got an LMG. It basically adds up to 13 dice hitting on fours, and I believe three hitting on fives. Okay, on fours first. Come on now. Uh, it's a very mediocre burst. Only three hits there. Uh, needing to kill on fours here. <laughs> one one kill. That's so grim. And then um, we've no. got three shots. Uh, no, that's two. two. Come on. Uh, so just one more no. and no specialist. So is that just two kills just from two that? Kills in the that's thing. very, very unfortunate. <sighs> I cannot believe that. The armored car has decided to play it safe and just advance backwards six inches, rotate a little bit, and fire an HMG into these veterans so he's not getting shot at by the Shrek team. Okay, so it's going to be three shots, um, moved hard cover, so sixes, and then no, the final hits. dice of turn five. And my Panzerfaust, he's just advanced just to the edge of this hill, and uh, you can just see the back of this vehicle. So even though he's not sort of fully covered by the squads or anything like that, I can, I can, I can only sort of see his tail. So it's soft cover, over half range and moved, sadly. So I, I thought it was going to be a five, but it's going to be a six. So we need to get a, just a little bit of luck. A little bit of luck. Just a Germans. little bit of luck. Come on now. Oh, yes! Wow. Oh, he actually gets it. And we've been, uh, they've been eyeing each other up um, for the past turn. Uh, he has recce, obviously, so I didn't want to shoot him too soon. Okay. Let's see what we get now. So it's uh, armor seven, mm -hmm. he's pen six. So oh, just no, don't get it. Doesn't no. matter. Shape charge. Okay, that's gonna be a double pen, because uh, six versus 10. 
makes the double pen. That's the same. Oh, seven versus ten. Oh, seven versus ten. Oh, makes the double pen. It's three or more. <laughs> <laughs> the rhyme still works. Um, okay, let's see if we get it. No! Yes. No! Oh! Oh my gosh. So it's four pins, uh, or three pins, three pins. Oh, that's devastating. Double one. Oh no, what a roller coaster of emotion that was. The Germans have formed up a little defensive line here, uh, although unfortunately, uh, with a couple of failed order checks, they failed to punch back really in any way. Um, the Russians have formed up nicely. They're basically uh, defend defending this table quarter and able to shoot effectively into mine, suppressing the Germans. Uh, but it's unlikely these guys will uh, get into my table quarter at this point. They might, who knows? Um, in the center, the Soviets have cleared everything in their path, although they do, although they do face a couple of German veteran squads. Um, it's really just trying to stop them get into, getting into our table quarter at this point. Although, um, with it being, I think, five dice to 13, <laughs> somehow, uh, somehow <laughs> failed to kill uh, anything at all. <laughs> um, it's uh, not looking good. It's looking like a win for the Soviets, but hopefully we can make it just a small win. Just a little win, not a big one. For the Katushka, just launching a barrage of rockets in uh, to suppress the German lines before the final assault. Um, unfortunately, they're just a hair over six from both these squads. Me and JP thought for sure it would hit all three units. Uh, so it's just going to be one dice, but can he knock out my anti-tank? No, it's a one. All he's got is a lousy bike all game, but he has really... Uh, it did mess with my deployment. The Germans have got themselves a dice. I need a big manoeuvre here. We're going for a charge. JP will be able to do Overwatch, but he has got two pins on him there. Um, need to pass an order check first as well. There's a lot of barriers to success here. <laughs> uh, if I can get a couple of charges off here, I can get a couple of kills. Uh, we passed the order. We've That's got what we good. need. Okay, now you need to shoot. Okay, so it's going to be sixes for the Soviets because of those two pins uh, and because there's a soft cover basically till I get to the point blank stage of things, which in that case, he obviously couldn't overwatch me anymore. So, um, how many dice you got, JP? So I've got one LMG, one SMG, one, two, three, four rifles, and okay. one Okay, so the SMG? No. Two. And the sixes. He's got a couple of hits there. So, I need some fives. Come on, veterans. One glorious charge for the Fatherland here. Yes, He's got a couple two. of kills, that's what he needed. <laughs> There's three guys are going to 10 now, <laughs> gutted. I'm gonna have to lose the LMG here. We need all the fighting ideas are fighting first hit. So it's going to be uh, three hits on fours with Tough Fighter, and then they're being struck. But come on now, boys. <sighs> I mean, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got one tough fighter and then six lads. Okay, killing them fives. So the tough fighter will be the orange base. Okay. We all need to prepare all of these now, JP. That's okay. Uh, no, he's two. got a couple of kills. Uh, no tough fighter, but that will uh, cause me to lay down my arms. It's another German dice out of the bag here. <sighs> I was really hoping to punch back with a double charge here. Um, they will consolidate. Not to be. Right into the last. These guys are going to switch target. They're going to try and brass up these guys. I was just over point blank range, like a hair away, uh, unfortunately. But it's okay. Uh, we're hitting on sixes with absolutely everything because JP's decided to go down. Just so I'm just, easy. yeah, it's just <laughs> soft cover down with everyone. They're within half range. Um, okay, so it's, it's a ton of shots. Uh, and we've got uh, a couple of hits there, can't complain. Hopefully get a couple of kills here. Come on. Uh, got a kill, I'll take it. I wanted to be able to drive you off, but I'll take any kill I can get right now. Right, it's a two-man squad, it's a small target. Two pins. Two okay. pins. It can really be said that I am getting what I asked for. I've watched, I've watched a ton of videos about Valiant last stands with the Germans, and here I have one for myself. So I'm advancing forward with 
my sergeant, uh, with my second lieutenant, he's gonna shoot up onto the hill here. Um, they're just in the open, it's just over half range, two shots on fours. We're just looking to kill some damn communists right now. There's one hit, needing a four now. No, no, I'm not even for honor or glory, can I get a kill? JP's going for an order test on the mortar. He's gonna hop into the brain carrier, so then he can advance up and shoot this officer for his audacity. <laughs> and if he does, pass. okay, they're in. I've no doubt you'll get another dash. Let it be said that my powers of deduction know no bounds. Uh, he's gonna <laughs> shoot me eight shots. He does need sixes though, because the old small target soft cover moved uh, thing. But uh, let's kill him for the man. He gets the hit. He gets the hit. So he needs. Is he a reg or a vet? It's just a regular. Not an experienced Joe, no. Nothing like that. It's no, the kill. Ah, gunned down by the Breton carrier. Hearing voices speaking Russian, the uh, German mortar team peer round the side of this building that they've been hiding behind, and to their horror, see this squad of regulars cresting the hill. Uh, they're gonna have to go for a lucky six here. We're going for the big dice. You Come need, on now. Need something. I need something. Come on. No. No. no please. <laughs> something. Anything. <laughs> when will my time go? <laughs> are going for the throat. Uh, the regular squad is it. They're advancing over the hedge and uh, shooting through this gap into the small mortar team. Uh, they need sixes to hit. Uh, there's no cover there, but they are over half range moved. Six shots, so it's just two rifles and the LMGs. Two rifles right and the LMG, okay. Uh, he's oh, got a couple of hits. Three, three hits. Yeah. There's only two of them. Come on. Need another one here. And oh, yes, he's two. done the job. Can he table me without losing a single unit? Oh my gosh. Uh, this has ever happened to me. The Panzer Shrek team are going to try and save my honour here. Uh, they need a five to hit. They've advanced and it's in the open on the Bren carrier. Who now has the Morse team inside it? That has the Morse team inside it. I could get two kills, but uh, we'll see. Needing a five. Uh, yes! Oh, no. Okay, okay. So that's uh, in the side, that's a six. So just anything but a one. Just roll a one. Three or more. Come on. Don't say that, man. <laughs> uh, yes, it's a double pen. Okay, we've been here before just to turn a go, but what a great shot this guy is. What a great shot. Can't complain. Is it a six and a five? He's is it a six well. and a five? He's doing real well. But uh, will, uh, will the charge detonate this time? Uh, yes, oh, it will explodes. with a resounding explosion. Uh, it may not seem like much to you guys at home, to the two or three of you who are still <laughs> watching me get crushed under the might of the Soviet war machine. But that is going to be a kill on the Bren carrier. It's then going to be D6 hits on the mortar team. <sighs> Come on. And it's going to be just oh, one. Oh. Have they lost anyone so far? They have. They have. Okay. And they've got no pins on them though. No pins. Okay, do I kill him? I don't kill him. So it's just the pins. Uh, three. Never mind. We've got the kill we needed. It's not going to be a total resounding tabling without having killed a single unit. A trail of smoke from the Panzer Shrek. The Ziz is going to try and find an indirect shot into that position. Danger close to the Soviets. Uh, needing a six here. Oh, oh it's the wrong type of dice. It's not a dice. No. So it's the last dice of turn six. As you can see, um, the Soviets have either run or advanced um, towards my table quarter. If it goes turn seven, this one will be worth um, three points for sure. At the moment, they're worth one point for being in neutral table quarters. Um, he also uh, ran his commissar up here. He's just skulking around. Uh, not a very loyal member of the Communist Party, if you ask me. Um, and he is scoring one point though, so I guess a little bit yeah. lower. Now, uh, he ha also has a squad here. Now, this is certainly in my table quarter, as is the officer who he's just sprinted up behind. Relatively safe, now that most of the Germans are dead. They're gonna be worth both three points each. So it's certainly a resounding success 
for the Soviets with a decent point lead if the game continues or even if it ends right now. But before that, we have one more activation. What's, what's our shooting? It's your it's truck. The car. I'm going to try and give it a run order. I'm going pins. for three, another three points, hopefully. Yeah. But he's got three pins. Will that Shrek do its job? Yes, yes it, it will. So he's locked down for the rest of the game, hopefully. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, do you want to roll a dice, JP? Okay. So does it continue? For six. No, no. it does not. So GG, my friend. Great game. Great game. Really, for the Russians. Really, yeah, for the Russians. <laughs> really exciting. Uh, for flipping heck. Um, well, I avoid, avoid being tabled by the skin of my teeth with a valiant veteran squad and the Panzer Shrek just managing to knock out that Bren carrier at the final nice. hurdle. <laughs> the final minute of extra time. Woo! We managed to pull through with a kill. Uh, so, yeah, I'm happy with that because I really thought that that was going to be just something. That was... That was unbelievable. Yeah, I so feel much like I for me. Do you reckon? I mean, I feel like I, 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 you had so many shots that absolutely didn't even hit me from my like fours. <laughs> oh yeah, we got these guys. Fifteen, 15 shots, shots on fours. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty bad luck uh, for the Germans there, but the Soviets capitalised on it. Fair enough, um, <laughs> and I think the yeah. Fubar on the Germans was absolutely massive as well in the middle. Yeah, that was massive when the FUBAR. It was a that turn three swung it for you. Uh, with me failing to do much against these guys, then getting cleared out in return, um, and then, yeah, just uh, foo barring oh, over here. What I really wanted to get out of this um, in terms of research was just finding out if, um, because I've got partisans coming, you know, uh, they're going to be on the painting table soon enough. Um, I'm planning on running those just with Fausts and a bazooka. And so it was interesting for me to see that, I think defensive-wise, against armor, that is probably enough. Um, all you gotta do is sneak that shot in, and uh, armor can't get too close and bully you. Uh, and it was a fun game for me just running a load of veterans, even if I did get uh, smashed. How about you, JP? Happy with the list and all that kind of thing? Happy with the Katushka? It didn't do much, did it? But It didn't do much, but the threat was that you couldn't make your own castle in your deployment, so you had to be aggressive. Mm, you pushed your true. so I could have over every squad that you had. It forced me to attack you, like I had to. You yeah. couldn't just sit and castle up and just get shelled. Uh, the reason it didn't do much was because I was spread out a lot. Yeah. So it did its job in that regard. It still killed a unit, killed a bike. Yeah, killed a bike. Just uh, spread my forces a bit too thin there, that's for sure. That's definitely on me. Um, or well, maybe it was the Katusha that was in, playing in your mind with bunching them up. Well, it, it really was. Like, I, I spread out for a reason. I would much rather just... Uh, maybe I was wrong and I should have just stormed up at you, chanced it. If you'd wiped two squads out, it would have been game over straight away. Who knows? Who knows? I think I've got a balance of infantry right with the Russians at the minute as well. Yeah, I think you've got a really nice balance with uh, one inexperience, two right regs, left, two veterans. Yeah, I think it's working really well, the Russian army right now. And you're just swapping out in a, a vehicle here and there, a couple of support units just to uh, mix things up. But yeah, guys, let us know what you think down below. Let us know what you think of the lists. Hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed the game. Um, give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, I um, hope you found it interesting and entertaining. This has been the Scholar Progenium. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.